everyone, Shaybear1000 here. Just wanted to show you a, a quick clip and talk a minute about something. You know, these cops with this, can I see your ID? Got your ID on you? I need to see your ID. You're going to show me your ID now. Doesn't work that way, man. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. And when you see this clip, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but you, you should YouTube. Typing cop wants to see ID or you know ID refusal and there's thousands and thousands about that um, cops want to ID you for no reason um, like if if you're sitting in a park minding your own business they can't just walk up and say can I see your ID well they can you don't have to show them your ID. Ask them what's your RAS, which is reasonable articulable suspicion. So, like, if I'm walking down the street at 3.31 in the morning, they can't just pull over and say, hey, I need to see your ID. This is kind of a high crime area. We've had break-ins. We've had thefts, blah, blah, blah. That's not reasonable just because a guy's walking down the street at 3.30 in the morning. Now, if I'm walking down the street at 3.30 in the morning and I've got a backpack on, and sticking out of that backpack is a catalytic converter and I'm carrying a battery powered sawzall with me that's reasonable articulable suspicion they can't just ID you under suspicion they can't you know if I'm walking down the street I got a motorcycle helmet on where's your motorcycle that's a little suspicious that's not enough that's not reasonable you can wear anything you want you know um, some states you don't even have to some states you can walk around naked yes that's true google it because i have i do my homework it's got to be reasonable like if you're driving down the road in your car and you get pulled over for whatever reason yes you have to show them your id the passengers do not they didn't pull the passengers over they pulled the driver over for a traffic infraction whatever running the stop sign whatever you know so it's it's got to be reasonable you know because if they just walk up to you like right now you know if a cop walks up to me and says you know uh i need i need to see your id you know well that's not reasonable enough i'm sitting out here making a video you know that's not reasonable enough you know and and lawyers will tell you if you're just walking down the street you've done nothing wrong and they just come up and start talking to you you don't have to say a word to them in fact, if you get pulled over in a car, you don't have to answer those stupid questions. Where are you going? Where are you coming from? What are you doing tonight? What's your plans? Where was you at last week? Where... You don't have to answer none of that. They're just trying to get you to talk to listen to see if you're slurring your words. You don't have to say anything. They walk up, roll your window down so far, give them the necessary documents they want. You don't have to say hello, boo, ha, kiss, mass, or nothing. You don't have to say anything to them. It's time they understood that. But this clip makes me sick, you know, because, like I said, I'm named after my uncle, and my uncle was a cop. Was a cop. He's retired. Best cop in the world. Now, so when these cops do this foolishness, um, you know, like I said, it gives my uncle a bad name, and I don't like that. It puts a bad taste in my mouth, you know. Um, <clears throat> But it's getting bad. I mean, that's, that's all they want to do is ID you. It's got to be reasonable. They have to be able to articulate a crime, you know, that, that you have committed, are committing, or about to commit a crime. It has to be reasonable. Like I said, that would be reasonable. 3.30 in the morning, you know, high crime area, and a guy's carrying a Sawzall. He's got a backpack on that's pretty reasonable. I mean, you know, especially with all the catalytic converter thefts that's going on now. I mean, yeah, that's pretty reasonable, you know. But just a guy walking down the street 3.30 in the morning in a high crime area, no. No, they, they don't have the right to, to, you know, they can ask you. Don't get me wrong. They can ask you, but they don't have the right to force you to give your ID. They, they, just, they just can't do it, you know. I mean... Just refuse. Take the ride, you know. Well, you know, obstruction. That's another thing. That's such a gray area. Obstruction. Well, he was obstruction obstructing my investigation by not showing his ID. 
What investigation? You're investigating a guy walking down the street? You see what I'm saying? They, they always do this investigation. And you're obstructing my investigation by not giving me your ID. What's your reasonable articulable suspicion? What have I done? What makes you think? How is giving you my ID going to going to help you determine whether I've committed a crime or I'm going to go commit a crime. You know, how's that? Oh, the, oh, here's your ID. That, this ID, that means you're going to go up this house and break into it. No, no, you know. So anyway, this video. Okay, okay, take a look at take a look at this video. It's 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 from another YouTuber link for the the whole video will be in the description box. But um, take a look at this video and see what you think of this. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's your first name? Bird? Do you have ID on you? Do you have a wallet or anything? All right, I'm here with you, okay? Can you squeeze my hand? Good. All right, don't squeeze. Hold off on it. Squeeze again. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, stay with me, okay? I got you. Can you open your eyes for me? All right, that's good. It's real good. All right, just stick with me, okay? Victor. Okay. All right, Victor. Nelson, okay? Now, I know what a lot of you guys are going to say, you know. Well, you know, he, he has to know the guy's name. He has to know, you know, for in case he's got to get a hold of the family, you know. Okay, but that does that have to be done right this second? Since when... Since when has identifying someone become more important than trying to save their life or help them out medically in any sort of way? You know, you heard him, ah, there's what I was looking for. Yeah, you're looking for, you left a guy there by yourself. I don't care if it's three feet, five feet, three inch. You don't, you know, well, he's doing his investigation. That's, I know that's going to be another lot of comment, but he's doing an investigation. That investigation can wait. There's a man laying here dying, you know. He's got both legs cut off, just got ran over by a train, and you want to start an investigation. No, no, start medical first. Get medical there. Then, when the, medic, when the medics are there and he's being in proper hands, being taken care of properly, then start your investigation. Then try to find out who he is, you know. Not, okay, I put a couple tourniquets on. You know, the man couldn't even say his name. He couldn't even say his name, and he's asking, "Do you have identification?" Then he has to get. He goes looking for that identification. You know why? Why? Why would you leave a man, a dying man, on the ground to go look for identification? That's ridiculous. This that needs to stop. You know where's where's the humanity? You know well, I did the best I could, so I'm going to go over and look for his ID now. You know what? What, what's that what's looking at his getting his name is that going to tell you what happened you know is that no it's not you know stay with the man until the proper people get there to take care of him then start your investigation why do they feel the need to start an investigation before anyone's medically taken care of you know throwing a couple tourniquets on a guy's legs that's just been cut off after being run over by a train you know then start your investigation that you, you know don't that's not right that's that can wait that can wait like i said man somebody answer this okay the people that are saying well he really needed to know his name he needs to know who he is to get in contact with the family does he need to know that right now if you're thinking that right now couldn't that wait a few minutes you know when did that come more important than saving this man's life being there you know talking to the man you know I'm here for you buddy everything's gonna be alright people's coming for you no it's you have an ID on you he can't even say his name you're worried about his freaking ID 
That stuff needs to stop. This cop stuff, you guys need to look that up if you haven't. Just type anything uh, on YouTube. Type in, um, you know, cop gets fired. Type in anything about that, and thousands of things will come up. You know, I mean, they're finally, you know, catching the bad ones, and and they're, they're sending them to prison like they should. You know, I mean, they're shooting people, and, you know, this officer safety, you know, They'll walk up to you, stand on the street, get your hands out of your pocket. Screw you. Am I being detained? What? What? It's officer safety. What about my safety against them guys? I'm standing here all unarmed and shit, and you guys come up fully armed. You know, you got tasers, you got guns, you've got pepper spray, you've got batons. You're worried about your safety. Then they got to call in all their buddies, their gang buddies. You know, the thin blue lion gang, they gotta call their buddies. Why? This man's filming. He's filming in public. We all need to know our rights. So that just, that rubbed me the wrong way when I seen that video. Let's stop this. Jesus, people. And if you're a cop watching this, <laughs> you're gonna hate me, but you know what? Kiss my ass, do your job, take care of the person first. That investigation can wait a few minutes. Finding out his name can wait a few minutes. No, you just want to run it and make sure what oh he's one he's got warrants well he's still alive let's you know even though he has no legs let, let's let's put him in handcuffs jeez you know they put a woman in the back of a squad car sitting right on the railroad tracks you guys i'm sure you've heard about that but if you haven't here's a clip of that Move your car Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's handcuffed in the back of a squad car, right dead center of the railroad tracks. Yeah. And then, after that gets hit, there's a couple officers still searching her vehicle. What the hell's wrong with you guys, man? You know, come on. I've ran into a couple good sheriff's deputies around here, man. They were really cool, nice guys. But, like that one guy. <laughs> you stop recording or I'm going to take your camera. You ain't taking my camera. You know. Well, I'm, I'm doing an investigation. Well, if you want that to be a private investigation, take it to the cop shop. But if, when you're on a city street, I'm going to film you. I'm, I'm tired of this, man. And I'll take the ride. And I'll win. But, you know, it's costing the taxpayers an awful lot of money every time. Because they're winning. You can't just go up and arrest somebody and then go, well, that's obstruction. That's resisting without violence. Res resisting what? I didn't give you my ID? Yeah. So you obstructed, and by not giving me your ID, you resisted me without violence. But, but I was walking down the street eating a sandwich. But you were in a high crime area. That gives me reasonable. No, it doesn't. Reasonable. Jeez. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it again. Have a have another or have a great weekend. Y'all stay safe and um, yeah, let's all let's all start learning our, our constitutional rights more because they're stepping on them and 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 how they get by with it a lot is, is you know well can I search your car? No. Well, you can let me search your car or you're going under arrest. As soon as they hear arrest, it's like, can I, you know, you're going to show me your ID or you're going in cuffs. Well, I'm get, guess what? I'm going to go in cuffs because I'm not showing my ID unless I've done something wrong. You know, if I'm a passenger in a car, I'm not going to show you my ID. That's done. I'm not going to do it. Because once you do that, they're going to want more. Then they're going to want you to talk. And did you notice they ask you about 20 minutes worth of questions. Then they read you your rights and tell you, oh, you know, your Fifth Amendment. You don't have to answer these, answer any questions. But they, they tell you that. They read your rights after you've already incriminated yourself, you know. That's why you don't, don't talk to the police, but always film the police. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm off for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.